So welcome everybody, it's the 1st of December 2021, it's a big day for us over here at Ligma. Um, I'm having here with me my friend, uh, the director from Ligma Labs, Matej Janusz. Um, basically, you know, uh, everybody's ex expecting something amazing today and even <laughs> me, uh, I'm also very excited. Uh, but let's, let's go from the beginning, um, we're launching today the roadmap for the next year, uh, so you can see it by the quarters. We actually quite made it in a deep down way. So you can see what's gonna happen with the GOC token, what's gonna happen with the ELI, so the ELI POS product, what's gonna happen on the GoCrypto side. Um, you know, we as a company are actually now separated into two segments. One is the ELI POS and one is the GoCrypto. And we try to put it together, you know, um, that at every merchant store, when they can accept a variety of different kind of payment methods, they can also accept crypto. That's that's one of a kind of thing, yes. uh, and it's also a good cash cow. But when it comes to a go crypto, um, we're also building some kind of a new way of how payments going to be done in the future, and that's more visionary approach on on how we see things in five, three to five years, and we're going to build it now. Um, a matter of what you should know now is. We as a company, we finally have a product that we're really proud of. So ADPOS that is working on the POS terminals, on the mobile, on e-com. Uh, the Go Crypto that is really growing now with the integration of, of big chains, of gateways, of, of um, acquirers. Um, we are working together with the cashiers. And um, I'm also extremely proud that our team is getting bigger. You know, we, we just uh, got the CFO from one of the biggest companies in Slovenia. Uh, we got a, a new CTO in the company. Um, we didn't lose any of the developers. <laughs> um, we, we really increased the number of sales. Uh, we opened the London. We are moving forward in Romania. It's pretty amazing, you know, um, how the company is developing. And I think the next year is going to be crucial. And now that we are ready, we're also um, separating quite a huge chunk of budget uh, that we're going to throw into the marketing. Um, so we're going to work with multiple different kind of influencers, uh, especially on showing, you know, how Ali post, how Go Crypto works. Um, we're gonna also have a bunch of influencers who will describe what our products are. Um, and on top of that, of course, we're gonna start working with the agencies, working in London, working all over the world on the field we wanna focus on. So we're gonna spend quite some money on the social network, networks, on ads, on, on publications, and the PR. We're going to start doing a bunch of more of these kind of videos, uh, even if it's a bit awkward for us, but it's, it's all right. <laughs> um, so um, we, we, really try to, uh, we really try to put our max in the next year. Um, and, and I think the team is becoming extremely motivated um, and it's growing rapidly. So this office is becoming quite small. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm extremely, extremely, extremely happy to announce a uh, few important milestones that we're gonna reach. Uh, maybe it's also important to say, um, the tokenomics we were planning for the Q4. Um, so yeah. we made the, the GOC bridge towards uh, a smart, uh, Binance, smart Binance Smart Chain. Chain. And we're also gonna make now in December, the GOC bridge to Smart BCH, exactly. all right? Yeah. The Solana, we're gonna move it. Uh, we're gonna move it slightly, it's like, yeah. To yeah. Q2 or Q3 in uh, 2020. Yeah, so it, it's basically because it just takes a lot of time and we need to further on develop product that it's, you know, um, something new on the market. You, you're going to discuss this about, we're going to discuss this on <laughs> GSC, uh, on, on Go Crypto 2.0. But um, basically, um, one, of the fee one of the main uh, tokenomics features that I wanted to launch was the NF NFTs on POS, right? Yeah. So if you know, uh, we could launch it. We actually built it. The only problem was I'm just afraid that we are not on the right regulatory side. It could be, yeah. Yeah, and, and maybe, you know, in our countries and over here it could work, but we cannot limit, you know, countries and people coming onto the platform. Yeah. Um, and, and we simply had to decide that if we don't get 100% um, green lights, that we cannot launch this kind of a product and it would be um, quite risky for us. So we said later on, maybe yeah. um, it's done, but, but I think you're going to like what yeah. you're hearing now, right? So you're gonna see everything we're working on the LEPOS, on the products, what we're doing on GOC. But look, um, this is something I'm, I'm really, really uh, happy that we, <laughs> we decided to do. Um, 
in the process of payments, there is a bunch of leeches, right? Of course, Who are yeah. taking fees when, when you're paying and merch has to pay it all, right? Yeah. And, and the banking is something that is actually good. Uh, people like to have it, but the problem... It's convenient, yeah. It's convenient, yeah. right? But the, the problem occurs when we step into hyperinflation, when we have an economical instability, when we have political instability whatsoever, the people are losing trust towards banks. Yeah. Uh, the money is losing its power. Um, and um, we simply have to find a way... Um, I, think, how, I think what we do here is basically we uh, we mimic the cash transactions so I if I give you a dollar I give it to you directly no intermediaries and we want to bring that to the digital age so so so, so wait wait so go crypto 2.0 yeah go we call it we call it decentralized payments decentralized payment protocol yeah some exactly. people say it's a decentralized bank even if we're like fully decentralized in, in, in you, you, could, you could say so what is it what is yeah. it so um, maybe it sounds fun in centralized payments because in nature, cryptocurrencies are decentralized. But the problem comes when you have thousand different currencies and let's say I have Bitcoin, you have, I don't know, Doge maybe? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, I have, I have Bitcoin, you have Bitcoin Cash, for instance. And uh, it's, it's a problem, you know, you want to get paid in Bitcoin Cash, I have Bitcoin, what are we gonna do? And uh, this is what decentralized payments are here for. Basically, we're, we're gonna be enabling decentralized actual conversions and settlement directly through auditable smart contracts uh, with basically zero intermediaries. There is going to be a small fee, but that, that's basically just to further develop the protocol. So uh, to enable actually progress in the future that uh, we don't need funding coming from an external company and actually help with the decentralization there as well. So uh, that's, that's the main motivation. Decentralized payments, mimicking the cash transactions in the digital age, but adding the smarts to it so we can, we can transact however. It's like, I would, I would have yuans and you would want dollars. No, it would be a problem before. Now we, we make it seamless, we make it easy. And, and that's basically the future of envision for, for Go Crypto 2.0. So but I have a few questions. If, yeah. if I, yeah, sure. if I may. So this is not made only for cryptocurrencies, I understand. Uh, yeah, so the decentralized part is strictly for crypto. Uh, so for decentralized part, smart contracts, we need to have a cryptocurrency, a digital representation, um, especially a cryptocurrency that has smart contracts enabled. But uh, we're going to be building it in a modular way where you're going to be able to connect different bridges. Uh, these are going to be slightly more centralized entities. Um, but different bridges that will enable even legacy payments like cards or mobile wallets uh, to be plugged into the system and uh, still remain fairly cheaper than if you if you stay in the legacy system with all the all the schemes of Mastercard and Visa. So that's pretty interesting because yeah. in this kind of way we're totally revolutionizing the way how banks are going to work and, and yeah. how the transaction protocol is going to work with exactly. existing ones. Exactly, yeah. But, and we have, we have over here, there's one segment that is very, very interesting. Uh, it's, it's the DAO, right? So decentralized autonomous organization. And yeah. how, what is the purpose of that? Yeah, so if we're talking about decentralized payments, uh, we don't want to have a central authority governing the decentralized payments. Uh, it defeats the purpose. So uh, what we're doing here is basically once the project is going to be developed to, to such extent that we're able to transfer it into a DAO, we're going to enable the GOC holders to actually be uh, in control of the protocol. Uh, the GOC token will here act as a governance token and all the develop further development comes from actually from the community, from the developers that get rewarded from the protocol for upgrades and, and, and new development on, on the project. Uh, from the uh, stakers that have a say in the governance, what are the fees, which bridges to connect, what's the future of the protocol, and that's that's the that's the key that's the key key feature. Uh, basically, decentralize everything. Uh, Enigma or Go Crypto here, then basically let's go of the control and and we 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 follow the vision of decentralized payments. And, and, and if I understand it right, um, just, just to make it sure. So we, we can hook to it any kind of currency that you want to pay with. So we're going to open it also in a way on the Lightning Network so we can support 
you know, exactly. variety of yeah, yeah. decentralized yeah. wallets. And so uh, here, basically, the wallets, uh, the, the, the wallets are going to depend on if they support the smart contracts uh, that we're going to deploy. We're going to be attacking the broad market, basically 89% of the market is using these uh, EVM compatible uh, smart contracts. Uh, so, I mean, EVMs, uh, EVM is, is the protocol behind Ethereum. So the smart contracts that are built on uh, EVM and Solidity. Uh, and yeah, it's basically quite easy to plug in anything on, on the entry side, meaning for the incoming payment, you can uh, connect different bridges, either legacy or non-EVM blockchains. And on the settlement side, again, you can, you can connect Eligma to be the settling partner for, from crypto to fiat. If a merchant wants that, or if a customer, a, a normal user wants that, but you can connect this, uh, these auxiliary products to the, to the solution and basically uh, cover all the use cases. And, and what's going to happen, like, okay, so GOC is becoming quite an important uh, yeah, yeah. So, token of, of yeah. this whole decentralized payment infrastructure. But, but you know, I, I would also like to, have to know what, what's happening with the fees. So there are small fees being generated. What do we do with them? Yeah, so uh, we're looking, so as I mentioned, for the protocol to live, to, to, to live normally, uh, even Ethereum, you know, for every transaction you need to pay a gas fee. You know, it, it's it's just so you prevent spamming uh, and you enable further development. Um, and here we're gonna collect a small fee automatically uh, during the settle uh, during the crypto settlement. Uh, and this fee is probably going to be distributed between um, some is going to go to the GOC DAO and the GOC stakers. Uh, some is going to go to so we're uh, enabling staking. Of course, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, I mean, we didn't launch the. POS NFTs, but we're using the components that were built for that here as well. Uh, as you mentioned, the POS NFTs are close to a financial product and regulation is not uh, the kind of stores products like that if you're not uh, licensed for it. But here, yeah, we're going to be it, we're going to be able to use use uh, a lot of that technology here as well. So GOC staking with rewards in a GOC generated generated from the fees. We're probably going to have some incentive programs at the beginning as well. So um, uh, boosting rewards through through our GOCs. Uh, then you're going to have an affiliate program. So uh, you're, you're going to enable with that basically self-sustainable uh, spread of the of the merchant network of the customers using the network because every affiliate is going to get the rewards directly on chain. Uh, and if, if they do a lot of work, they get paid a lot. I mean, <laughs> easy as that. Yeah. I mean, look, I think we're going to discuss this more and more later down the road, right? So it's something we yeah. expect it's going to be developed in the upcoming year and we're going to probably launch it in different kind of transfers so people can actually see what we did and how we did it. Um, but it's it's a quite a huge project, as I understand. We are yeah, we're I mean, yeah. putting on this quite a lot of people. Um, and and wh where do you see the usability of it? I mean, uh, you, you can... You can add it anywhere. You know, it, this is going to be for online payments. It's going to be the easiest. You know, it's just going to be a plugin like any other. For uh, physical uh, physical merchants, I mean, um, brick and mortar stores, you're going to have uh, probably we're going to build a module to make it easy for the early POS users to to actually hook up to this system and and use it decentrally with substantially lower fees than what they what they have now. Um, I, I see a lot of use cases. You can even plug in a DeFi if you want, you know, and you, you can create a, a savings, a, a, I mean, a deposits. Uh, no, now you're talking. Now you're Sorry. Talking. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm going to stop. No, I'm stop. No, 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 no. The thing is, I said, like, now you're talking. This ah, is okay, okay, stuff. okay. I thought I could shut up. Right? No, no, no. The thing is that, you know, we, probably this is the first step towards something bigger that we are dreaming quite a while and we want to talk too much about it. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's let's leave something for 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 the following <laughs> months. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a start of a really really uh, I mean a really good project and a really uh, good solution that can be applied to many use cases and bring a revolution in in financial services. Yeah. Hey, Matei, thank you for that. So. Um Look, guys, we really believe that if you want to be a successful company, you need to have a business that is making you money um, and then build out of this business 
crazy things, you know, because otherwise it's all just overhype, selling stuff that don't exist or selling ideas that, you know, will never come true or overhype things that are even not even close to what they are meant to be or something like that. So in, in, in the whole crypto space, there's a bunch of these kind of projects, you know, and uh, we, we just try to be a long term project over here. This this upcoming year is quite crucial for us um, because we're really going all in. I want to see how this is going to look like in the end of next year. Look, even if the bear market happens in the upcoming year, I hope not. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to be building. We're going to work. So uh, we're going to move on. We're going to move forward. Um, and eventually, I believe we're really on a good path to make it happen. Uh, you all can help. Like share these things, share this video, follow us, um, discuss things. Um, and I, I'm sure that in upcoming months that the marketing is now starting to uh, to blow out. I think in, in Q1 we're launching quite a big, big campaign. So I'm going to keep you updated about that. Um, you know, help us out. You, if you discuss things, if you ask questions that are logical, you get the answer for it. Um, if you overhype things, we ask you not to do it. Uh, and if you if you are if you if you don't know what you're talking, then we just say to you, have a good day. <laughs> um, so um, thank you all. Thank you, uh, Matei. And uh, any questions, please let us know. We're over here for you. And yeah, I'm I'm extremely excited. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Bye, guys.